Hi, Leo. Welcome back. Leo, this is going to be your you versus them reading. I'm going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Um, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it could resonate on either side. Feel free to flip the roles if you need to. Also, my readings are um, timeless, so I just trust that when this finds you, it's for you. If you're not dealing with anyone in particular, this reading could be you versus you, your ego versus your soul. So keep that into mind. And let's get started. So, Leo, when I was doing um, the guided meditation before I began, I was getting some messages and songs. Um, most notably, <laughs> I woke up with the song and I knew I was going to do Leo today, right? Um, and I honestly do not recall the uh, singer, but uh, basically she says, Yeah, he's effing crazy, excuse my language, but he's still my baby. Um, <laughs> uh, if I could think of how it goes, my baby's misunderstood. How could he be so good? No, that's not it. Basically, what she's saying is, even though, even though my person is misunderstood, and yeah, maybe a little crazy, they're still my baby. So that song could be um, just. A validation for you if you like that song or that artist and I can't recall the artist or the name but I'm sure somebody will put it in the comments um, and or those lyrics may resonate with you or somebody could be feeling that way about you okay whether you're male or female that yeah maybe you're a little crazy but you're worth it you know what I'm saying <laughs> so that's that was the first song that came through the second song um, was diamonds on the soles of her shoes um, which is a great song, old song, okay, I believe it was Paul Simon, uh, but don't quote me on that, but saying that, um, and go check out those song lyrics as well. And then when I was, um, sitting in the meditation, I was shown some images. First it looked kind of like barbed wire, but then it looked like a towel and someone was wringing it out like this. Okay, <laughs> so some of you might actually be doing dishes right now or wringing out something, I'm not sure. But symbolically speaking for me, it was like almost feeling pulled in two different directions, right? And spirit usually speaks through symbolism, you know, or feeling like a writhing or a tension, you know, within your energy. Um, and just kind of being maybe at a crossroads with that Leo. So hopefully this reading will give you some guidance and help with whatever it is that you're going through. We're going to pull the tarot now and get started. While I was talking, I already had a card come out. It is the card of Mars, which is a very erratic, intense energy, right? Um, it highlights desires and impulses, um, your strength. It also highlights working out and physical activity, okay? So you might need more of that. Some of you might be into that. Um, it also talks about impatience, you know, maybe even uh, letting your temper get away from you. So be careful of that, especially as we go into the retrograde. Um, but this is all about your willpower, Leo, and what you're willing to fight for and what you're not willing to fight for. And as I say that, you get the nine of wands and your overall energy, which is um, the card of determination in the angel tarot deck. So... Yeah, it's just like um, bringing that determination to the table. Some of you need to make a determination during this time frame, and that could be what you're feeling tension about or feeling like uh, pulled in two different directions for others of you. Um, this also talks about wanting to be done with the struggle. So if things have felt like a struggle, you just kind of want to... Um, I don't know. You're not wanting to go to battle, at least during this time frame. It's kind of like, okay, it is what it is, or putting your guard down. Um, sometimes this could be like my giving up card, but I actually don't feel, I don't feel that in your energy. That could be the person you're dealing with, but I actually feel more of a determination, but take it as it resonates, okay? The person you're dealing with is also um, in the, one of the Wands cards, Seven of Wands. It actually came out in the reverse. So I, that's why I said I get a sense that someone does not want the challenge anymore um, or does not want to be challenged. And I feel like it's this person that you're dealing with. But take it as it resonates. Um, because in the upright, this card talks about feeling challenged, wanting to be challenged, taking on challenges. And so during this time frame, this person may not actually be wanting that, you know, not wanting um, to face any challenging events and um, 
maybe putting their guard down for the most part, um, but it's almost like a releasing type of energy, okay? So um, let's get a little bit more specific and see, Leo, what you got here. We're going to go into the recent past energy, and then we're going to go into perception and how you see each other, your genuine emotions underneath it all, your hopes, and most likely future outcome, all right? So my Leos, Leo. Recent past energy for Leo. Uh, some of those lyrics from Diamonds on the Soles of Her Shoes are coming through. And it's, uh, she's a rich girl and she don't try to hide it. Diamonds on the soles of her shoes. He's a poor boy. Empty as a pocket, empty as a pocket, got nothing to lose. Na -na -na. Na -na -na -na. <laughs> Sorry if you don't like my singing. Oh well. But um, <laughs> it was coming through so clearly. Usually I fudged the lyrics, so excuse me if I did. But those lyrics seemed pretty clear to me. Um, that's a great song. Anyways, check that song out. So, Leo... Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, The Fool, this is what led up to this. So this is closing a chapter, you know, looking to your future, what's in front of you, um, having support around you, whether that be through friends or family. I feel it's platonic, though, okay? So you've got a good support system for a lot of you, or at least it's been available to you in the recent past. Some of you have been kind of looking at um, whether you're going to end something or begin anew or reconcile, all right, and may have been stuck in kind of a challenging energy on whether or not you were going to take action and what, what direction you were going to take that action into because, again, I saw like this twist and turn type of energy. Um, and so you might have been at a crossroads with that and that showing up again on the cards if that's the case, but... Even if not, it's just like closing one door and making amends within yourself and then having some sort of faith um, driving you into your next chapter. And it's just like, let it let it be what it is, you know, and um, being divinely guided to let go a little bit, especially if you've been feeling tense, especially if you've not been feeling like yourself. Um, I feel like your spark is coming back. Your determination is coming back within the current energy, Leo, and um, it's driving your willpower, okay? Um, and you're being supported and guided within, uh, with your angels, with your guides, of course, um, and spirit. So there's a new chapter beginning for you in your life. And some of you maybe most recently have gotten closure, if not from another person, within yourself, you know. Um, and that's kind of what I'm feeling here. So let's see what this person's recent past energy is. And see, now I have the other song playing in my head. My baby is misunderstood. How could someone that bad be so damn good? <laughs> I feel like for some of you, a good portion of you, it's this person that feels that way about you. You know, and Leo, you're so feisty. You know, sometimes that could be intimidating to other people. It might come off a little cray-cray, you know what I'm saying? But personally, that's why I love Leo. I love the sign of Leo because you are who you are. Who cares? Um, <laughs> so somebody could feel like, yeah, he or she's a little crazy, but that's my baby, you know? <laughs> um, but take it as it resonates. It could be you also feeling that way about this person, but that song definitely came through, okay? So <laughs> a lot of you, this is going to resonate with an intimate relationship, not a platonic relationship, okay? So, recent past energy for person Leo is dealing with Knight of Cups, Temperance, and the Hierophant. So, this person, yeah, may um, open up emotionally or have in the recent past wanted to open up emotionally. Um, they may have been quite moody in the past, you know, and going back and forth between like being open and then being closed off and then being open and then being closed off, right? 
Um, because I get like this very expressive nature about this person and then, you know, almost like, um, the opposite of that, like an introversion here, that could be the two sides of this person, um, could be a Gemini for some of you, but uh, it doesn't have to be. I've got Aries, Sagittarius and Taurus out as well so far, it could be any Zodiac sign. It's like this person also goes back and forth between kind of, you know, running their own show, being free, um, kind of living their own life. And then also, on the other hand, feeling like, you know, they need to stick to their values or their morals or obligations, uh, traditional type of thinking. So a bit of a pull in two different directions. And certainly that image could have been uh, this person's energy as well you know, being pulled in two different directions sometimes and not really being able to balance the energies as well as they would have liked to have. But um, I do feel like this person is um, gaining knowledge about themselves and what direction that they want to go into. Um, yes. So let's look at perception. Um, and see what that looks like. Now keep in mind that perception is in the eye of the beholder. So Leo, it may be your truth, but it may not be their truth, but we'll start there. So what is Leo's perception? What do they think about this connection? The magician. The seven of swords. Ooh. The Knight of Cups. Okay. So, Leo. Very Two very distinct groups, I think, here. All right, but I'm going to try my best to keep it general. Some of you feel like this person um, is very manipulative, you know, underneath the surface or has the ability to really toy with your emotions, right? Because this is a lot of playing energy, emotional playing. Um... You know, you might have ignored the red flags with this person because they might have a very, um, I heard suave or like a very smooth exterior, you know, very attractive to, to you, okay? And then underneath that, there's like a lot of hidden energy or a lot of layers to this person. Now, whether that's the truth or not, we'll see, but that's how you view it, you know, is this person having like either underlying intentions or it's just hard to pinpoint this person's intentions, if nothing else. Um, some of you would definitely want uh, to manifest things with this person, um, but maybe you do not want them to know that. So you might also be on the down low or just paying attention to, you know, their uh, what they're doing, um, <laughs> wanting them to be expressive towards you. So I could also see it that way. But for the most part, I feel like there's definitely a lot of unknowns with this person. Even if they've been in your life for a long time, um, there's still like... Things that you have yet to uncover about this person. And I actually kind of feel like, you know, you like that a little bit. Um, and or they do, if this is your energy. It's just like, it's like that song says, you know, they may be misunderstood, but that's still my baby. You know, like <laughs> that type of energy. Um, so let's see what this person's perception is here, Leo. I heard for some of you, this person is a guiding light in your life or you have been that for them. Okay, side note. Uh, this person sees you as the Eight of Swords, Knight of Swords. Okay, one more card. So, I feel like this person is either heavily thinking about the connection or kind of wrapped up in their head, um, just in general, may or may not be even at all related to the connection. When they see you, they feel some sort of restriction there with communication, okay? So, you might have restricted communication with this person or they you. And or it's just like, this person gets caught up into their mind a lot, you know, they may... Um, I don't know. They kind of tell themselves a narrative that's not always the full truth. 
you know, but that's how they see it. So it's their truth. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, sometimes this person sees what they want to see. That could also mean that sometimes they ignore red flags. Okay. Um, and, or you do, uh, cause that could be how they see you. But at the same time, it's like, mm, It's a hard energy to pinpoint. They want to communicate and yet they feel restricted, you know, or they want to have an open dialogue with you. But yet it's like the way that they see things, Leo, is not always in sync with the way you're seeing things. It may not even be in sync with reality sometimes. I'm just saying. Um, like sometimes I feel like this person's mind plays tricks on them. <laughs> you know, like, um, and then they may get like, they may have like a paranoid personality even, or, you know, um, yeah, like they make up storylines in their mind and they believe it, uh, something to do with that. Okay. That's a really interesting message. And then the page of emotions. Finally, this person wants to open their heart chakra or they're being called to that. I feel like when this person thinks of the connection, first of all, there's a sense of kind of seeing it how they want to see it. And yet at the same time, they want you to understand how they feel. Okay. Like this person also feels like they think they know how you feel, but I, I don't know if that's necessarily the truth because they're doing a lot of uh, projection you know, um, onto you, Leo, meaning like they are reading into how they think you're feeling based off of how they are actually feeling. And maybe even, like I said, projecting that onto you because I get a sense of like somewhat disillusionment. Um, yeah, and I'm not really sure where that's coming from. So let's dig a little bit deeper. That was perception, thought, ego, surface level. Now we're going to go into the ethers, the depth, the emotion, your spiritual self. How do you feel underneath it all? Leo. Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Well, you're all about business almost, or you're at least trying to stay very practical in your energy. You might be heavily emotionally focused on your comfort zone, your self-worth, your practical life, your, your work, quite literally, or dedicating more time to that. I feel like you're in this space, Leo, where it's not very... It's not as emotional as you have been, right? Because I feel like you're getting really grounded in this energy. And like I said at the beginning, you know, it's all about that willpower. So I feel like you're putting maybe a lot of time into caring for yourself or your environment or your um, career, you know, wanting to be comfortable in that. Some of you wanting the comfort zone, wanting to feel accepted for your authentic self, wanting to be able to be your authentic self, the good, the bad, the ugly, the smelly, you know, whatever. <laughs> who you are at the end of the day and almost peeling back the layers of yourself is kind of what I'm feeling here um, and really taking a look at that now some of you might also be focused on to committed relationships especially if this is a committed relationship maybe wanting to dedicate more time to that if it's not a committed relationship then this is dedication to yourself and to, like I said, more like platonic connections within your life, like familial, friends, that type of stuff. So let me see what this person's emotions are. And for those of you who you're dealing with someone that, you know, you just really can't pinpoint or you don't really trust, that could be why you're emotionally trying to stay in a more balanced, practical place, you know, because you don't trust. Let's see what this person's, I heard this person's version of events is wholly different than yours sometimes. <laughs> so take that as however you want to take it. Um, in their heart of hearts, they're the seven of cups, six of voices, six of materials. 
So yeah, this person's emotionally confused. They don't always know how they feel. Their emotions and their thoughts sometimes contradict each other. And I think, I think that messes with their perception of what re really is going on. All right, um, this person, they want this uh, equal balance in their life. They want something to build off of. They want comfort and practicality as well. Don't get me wrong. But also, I feel like this person almost has like voices in their head or something. Or um, maybe a lot of different thoughts that have their attention a lot of the time that distract them from you know, maybe being present in the present moment. And because I see them going back and forth with that even in the past. And then it kind of interfering with how this person emotionally expresses within the connection. But it's just like, it's just a little bit of confusion going on within the heart space. And maybe even a bit of insecurity or not really sure what to listen to, their head or their heart. And... And yet wanting equal give and take within connections or this connection, you know. And I heard also wanting to feel or they are feeling revitalized. Um, getting some new ideas as well that's going to help them to move forward. But they may seem a bit emotionally distant. And that's because there's uh, either confusion going on or for a few, this person has like some uh, multiple choices or choices that they need to make during this time frame. And they're kind of like going back and forth with it. So let's see what the hope is, Leo. I thought I saw a card flip, but I guess not. Hopes for my Leos. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you, you don't want the back and forth anymore, okay? Um, so if you've also been back and forth between your head and your heart, you know, um... That I feel like you want to make a decision, okay? Um, some of you, you just want to find balance between um, the practical and the emotional. Because I feel like you may have been, again, pulled in two different directions in the past and wanting a release from that, determined to move past that, get more comfortable in your emotional space, okay? So um, that's kind of where I see you wanting to go. What about this person? Is there hope? the hangman so this person is hoping to either change your mind or they may be hoping to see things from a different or a higher perspective if this person's confused they can't they're trying to make up their mind and they may just be wanting to hope like to know without a doubt <laughs> what they want so that they're able to make up their mind but I feel like they have a lot of different trains of thought running through them at all times is very challenging for this person but they're wanting to see it from a higher perspective here all right for a few I heard that this person wants to take a break okay um what is the most likely future outcome? Now, keep in mind, Leo, all the future outcomes can be changed with free will. You're in the driver's seat of your life, not me. I'm just giving you a snapshot of what it looks like currently. Six of Swords. Five of Wands. Don't go towards the conflict, okay? There you are, the sun. One more. Page of Pentacles. So, Leo, you might get um, suckered into getting into some sort of conflict or competition here. And the Spirit is saying, do not be led astray. Do not allow your emotions get you into a place where you go into conflict mode or where you start to debate things with another. Especially because that person is not going to see it from your point of view, no matter how well you articulate. Okay, because especially if it's this person, they have their own version of events. Okay, that's what I heard clearly. Um or whoever this is pertaining to, if it's not this person. It's just like not worth it. It's going to drain your energy. It's not going to accomplish anything. You're going to be led in the wrong direction. And it'll be very uh, emotionally exhausting. Okay, so it's like if 
you're feeling that pull towards like your temper say or um, getting frustrated and angry that's when you need to distance yourself from a person or situation so that you can collect yourself and not be you know pulled into the madness okay so that's just a caution here uh, Leo otherwise here you are the Sun beautiful page of Pentacles Feeling connected, feeling like yourself, feeling good, getting getting your energy back. Like I said, some of you might be working out or getting more physically active. Um, if not that, it's just feeling happy. Um, and uh, setting some new intentions, okay? Um, there's something developing here that is going to make you very happy, all right? So I do feel, I heard the word development. There's some sort of development going on within yourself or within, for some of you, like your practical world, meaning like your practical surroundings, career, money, things of that nature. Um, but I heard planting your feet firmly on the ground is where it's at. Two turntables and a microphone. <laughs> I don't know what that lyric's from. Not sure. Anyways, <laughs> you get what I mean. <laughs> so let's see. This person's most likely future outcome, the fool. We had the fool back here. Nine of voices. This person has a tendency to block their own energy with their thought process. You know what I'm saying? Like getting all up in their head that was shown in the past, present, and now even in the future energy. Like what I heard is all of a sudden my nose is itching like crazy. I'm so sorry. Um, what I heard is that... Um, this person likes to retreat into their mind, okay? And that could be when they feel uh, like they detach from you, uh, Leo. It's because they're retreating into their mind, almost like consulting <laughs> their internal self or maybe their internal guides, if this is an intuitive person. But um, it's like this person wants to make a decision, but they don't make decisions because there's a few different trains of thought happening and that's kind of what they need to cut out um or they're hoping to um the, I, I keep getting the lyric from that one song my, my baby is misunderstood um you know that again they could feel misunderstood or they have a hard time understanding others because of this internal dialogue here or making decisions um because of the scatteredness of their thoughts or brain but this person has a lot of pride, you know, <laughs> they, they don't want others to see that they, they want to look capable. And I'm not saying this person isn't capable. Uh, I'm just saying that they've got a lot going on in the mental space during this time frame. Um, but they want to appear as if they know uh, what they're saying and doing and, um, even if they're not sure. <laughs> um, this person is looking to the future with the two of inspiration here and um, kind of looking out for inspiration, okay? Some of you may be connecting with Scorpio as these two cards came out for them, for their person as well, um, or have that in your chart. Um, but like I said, I've got lots of zodiac signs here. It's just like this person's on the lookout, or I'm sorry, it's not Scorpio is Aquarius. Some of you may be dealing with Aquarius or Scorpio. I'll go through all the zodiac signs in a minute. Um, this person might be looking out for communication or a phone call. Um, it could be related to you. It may not be related to you. Um, some sort of message to help them to be able to move forward, okay, so that they can kind of release the challenges. But I feel a determination on this person's side to figure it out. Uh, I think they want to figure it out on their own. I, I don't think that they are very much open about this, as there's a lot of restriction in their energy. But that's kind of where they're headed over here, Leo. So, and as I say, a great energy. 
got the star at the bottom of the deck. So, um, let me tell you the zodiac signs you could be dealing with on that note. Uh, I already told you I felt uh, Aquarius, Scorpio. You could be dealing with another Leo here. Um, Virgo. Aries. Capricorn, Taurus. Sagittarius, Taurus again. Uh, Libra. And then I felt Gemini too at the beginning of the reading. So could be a variation of those signs that are involved. Take it as it resonates. Don't get too caught up on that part. It is a general reading. I hope that you found this helpful. If so, let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to check me out on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff. I just kind of randomly talk on there about whatever I have going on. But I also talk about law of attraction, spirituality, and do guided messages so you can catch me there. Um, Tarot Time with Dana, link down below, as well as in the About section of my YouTube. Also in the About section, you'll find a donation feature for those of you who wish to donate to the channel. Um, you're certainly um, welcome to, but not expected. You can do it over there in the About section. Either way, Leo, I am wishing you the very, very, very best. And until next time, my friends. Namaste.